This week on The Corner, let's do the Z offset on the Tronxy printer the right way. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, it's me Jeff. Welcome back to my corner. For the past couple weeks, I've been really busy with my Tronxy. I've been looking into Cura and the Tronxy and the Cura profiles and looking into setting the Z offset the proper way. Now there's a fabulous document out there by uh, Keith Varnin, Jeff Victor, who goes step by step into details of how to set your Z offset properly. Cause the problem with a lot of the Tronxy printers is you'll set your Z offset and it will lose it a couple prints later. So with this method, it is going to save that Z offset perfectly. So you're always going to have the same Z offset. Now I'm going to um, link these files that are available on the Facebook pages, but I'm also going to have um, everything together in one convenient package in my Dropbox. But this is basically going to be a visual guide to setting your Z offset on a Tronxy printer properly. So without further ado, let's begin. We're going to be doing a visual reference to the uh, Keith Varnith, Jeff Victor, uh, how to set your Z offset properly on a Tronxy printer. So the first thing you're going to do is download the save settings decode file and you're going to run it on your printer. Uh, it's going to take about 30 seconds or go to run, but your machine will never pass 1%. So you're going to have to wait 30 seconds and then you will have to manually stop it after that amount of time. And this time the write to the card should have finished. You're going to want to keep this file for your records because this has your settings before you start doing this. And now that the uh, printer has been rebooted, if you look at the memory card, you will see there is a new file on there that's current config. And you're going to want to save that. As we said, that's very important to do. Now we'll move on to the next step. You're going to download the ALB tweak file and you're going to reboot your machine. Uh, make sure you get the proper ALB tweak file for the machine you have. There are several different ones for the XY2 Pro, the X5S of the different sizes. Uh, it recalibrates the uh, settings for the auto bed leveling mesh and sets up the machine to record the actual nozzle location. So you're going to reboot the machine at this point. These are basically the first two files that are pretty important, the ABL tweak and the uh, save settings decode. Our next step, we're actually going to start getting ready to do the Z offset configuration. There's four or five things to do in this process, but they're very easy and it's pretty repetitive. So you shouldn't have a problem with this whatsoever. Um, the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to go onto your touch screen and you are going to go into your tools menu. And from your tools menu, you're going to select manual and then you're going to select home and then you're going to allow the printer to auto home. And once it completes its auto home sequence, you're going to use the manual move buttons to set the print head to X0, Y0. And that's going to be a simple task of just hitting the buttons in the proper direction in order to get it to where it needs to be. You can check this by backing out of this menu twice and hitting the system menu and the info. And it should be able to tell you you're at zero, zero from there. The next step with this is you're actually going to move your print head to the position of X40, Y40. So you're going to do the exact same thing. You're going to move your print head with the arrows, checking it to see if you'll be at X40, Y40. So basically it's one, two, three, four moves, and then one, two, three, four moves. And we can, as I say, double check that by going to the system and the info menu, you should be at X and Y 40. Once we've confirmed where we are, we're going to back out of these menus and we're actually going to disable our steppers by hitting the stop function. That's going to allow us to manually set the location of our nozzle with a sheet of paper or a feeler gauge. So you're going to want to adjust your lead screw 
until you get just a slight amount of drag on the paper. And once you've done that, we'll be ready for the next step. As you can see, I have a slight amount of drag on my paper, so I'm good to go. Step four and five are going to be working on calibrating your ABL sensor. Um, now, I didn't actually recalibrate mine because I had it already done, but what you're going to do is you need to move your printhead to X80Y45. So you're going to move it as close as you can by using the arrow buttons that you used previously. Now remember, you're at X40Y40. So you need just a few hits to get to the 45. If you hit the, the, the one millimeter, you should be able to get there a little closer. You see, I'm pretty close here, so I'm good with that. I'll actually move it over that one mil just to make it perfect. But So adjusting your sensor, you're basically going to undo the two hex nuts on the side of the sensor and then move it up and down. Uh, I prefer to use a Allen key with this, a 1.5 mil Allen key to rest the sensor on or loosen the nuts, rest the sensor on it, and then tighten it again. As long as your red light's on, you're good. We're almost done the uh, hardware calibration, just a couple more steps to go. Basically from the tools menu, this is where we're going to use that Z offset button. We're going to press the button and allow it to home. Um, once the head stops, do not move it, do not touch anything whatsoever. The only thing you're going to touch is once it's done doing what it needs to do is the set Z at zero button. That is it. Because that's going to set your Z to zero. And that's what you want. It is what we've been doing this whole exercise for. So yeah, once you set zero, we are pretty much done. Um, after we're done setting zero, we are going to simply go back and run our uh, save configuration G-code file. So that will save all our settings with our current Z offset in it. Now again, we're going to have to wait that 30 seconds and then stop the print. And we're going to take the card out and we're going to go and open it up in a notepad and what you're going to do is you're going to put the card in your PC open up the current config with notepad and you're going to scroll down until you see the M84 line and it's the one with the Z on it and as you can see the Z is set to zero so that's perfect that's exactly what we want that's what this whole thing was about. Now you have a consistent Z0, which is fantastic. Um, if your Z wasn't 0, you're going to change it to 0, and then you're going to print your current configuration file. Then you know you're good to go. Then we can move on to actually getting a good first layer. With all those steps done, now we are going to finally, and I say finally, level our bed. Uh, what you're going to do is you're going to heat up your bed, and I like to wait about five minutes after it's heated up in order for the temperatures to stabilize. Uh, I usually heat mine to about 55 for PLA, and that's what I'm going to level it for. So basically what you want to do is the first corner you do here is always going to be a zero, your goal is to try to get the other three corners to about a 0.2 millimeter difference. So you want them all to be within 0.2 millimeters. Um, now, depending on how warped your bed is, your center points are going to be kind of off. As you can see, you'll see with my leveling that my back right side middle-ish is really high. And that's just what I have to deal with with this printer. So yeah, everyone's print bed's going to be slightly different. But if you can get those corners within 0.2 of a mil, you're doing a really good job. So we'll just let this bed leveling finish. And then we'll be on to the next step. So truth be known, I'm usually a Prusa slicer guy. But I've been playing around with Cura because I have the Chitu firmware in the Troxy XY2 Pro. So what you want to do is download the latest version of Cura. 
go to the marketplace and get the Z offset plugin. And that's what we're going to use to set our Z height. Once you have it installed, you just simply need to search for Z offset in order to pull it up. Now what I like to do is I'll slice my base model at a zero offset and then I'll adjust the offset to uh, 0 0.05, 0 0.1, 0 0.15 and save those all individually. That way I can have a run of about four cubes that I can just try one after another. It saves me time from having to pull out the card, go into notepad, adjust the settings, put it back into the printer, try it again. I can do it all in Cura this way. So it's a quick little shortcut and it seemed to work really well for me. Um, you do want to start with the zero though because remember before when you did the paper trick with your nozzle, you want to start with zero because you might be bang on. If you're bang on then you're good to go. If not then you'll have to adjust as I say try the different cubes starting with the um, the smallest like the 0 0.05 then go to the 0 0.1, the 0 0.15 and the 0 0.2 and then you're going to print off all of those in a row and see which one works the best for you. I think I ended up with a 0 0.22 overall. I tried a 0 0.2 and a 0 0.25. It was a little too squishy. You're going to see my stock zero cube here and as you can see I have lots of room for improvement because I am way too high. Once you do end up getting your Z offset dialed in, you simply need to go into your current config file again. Scroll down to the line, the M8085 line with the Z offset on it. And you're simply just going to take whatever your best Z offset was. Mine is a 021, I'm sorry. And you're just going to input the 021 in there and then you're going to just save the file and put it back into the printer and then you're going to print that current configuration file and you should have yourself a perfect offset now one super important point to note that if you have your Z offset set on your printer you do not need to have it set up in Cura so one of these has to be zero Okay, so my Z offset is fixed on my printer, so I'm going to move Cura back to zero, but it just helped me really quickly get through um, doing um, my Z offset calibration. So yeah, so that's how you set up your Tronxy Z offset properly for the first few steps, and then I sort of took a side route and went the Cura way in order to figure out the Z offset. That just worked for me. You can always follow the steps that are in the guide. I just find that when you first purchase a Tronxy printer, the uh, Tronxy slicer is an offshoot of Cura anyways, so you might as well just download the full edition of Cura. It's got all the Tronxy profiles on it, and it's got that Z offset thing, and it's even got a really cool um, Chichu um, model display uh, add-on that you can add to your printer, and we'll get into that in the next video, but I hope this video was really helpful for you. If you like this uh, visual guide, give me a thumbs up, click the subscribe if you haven't already, and until next time everyone, see you then.